Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here back with yet another 100% achievement guide and this time we are getting it all in Nobody Wants to Die. This was developed by Critical Hit Games, published by PlayOn and is available for £19.99 slash $24.99 and oh my god, I'm so sorry, I'm about to anger some people's blood right here but here is another guide I've put out which isn't on Game Pass. I'm so sorry for being so damn selfish. Anyway, for those that enjoy my guides regardless, we play as James Cara in the year 2039 as he gets paired with a young police assistant called Sarah for an off-the-book case to uncover some of the city's dark secrets of the elites. Basically, it's, it's the UK Tories when they had a big party during COVID when people's loved ones were dying, etc. But of course, the British police only care about catching people who, I don't know, throw Greg's pasties at each other rather than catch actual criminals. Anywho, as for the old achievements, there are a lot of story-related ones which will be timestamped, so you know, plus a bunch of little miscellaneous ones but are genuinely easy enough. There are two endings we need to get to, but luckily you can uh, use either. Basically, we can do a backup save or do the old delete from console trick in order to not replay the whole game again. It is a great game, and if you skip in the dialogue like I did, it can be done in around four hours or so. So with that being said then, well, I guess we've already Les done it. So uh, one thing I should say is you can skip only certain parts of the dialogue with the B button by holding the B button. Um, sometimes you can, sometimes you can, sometimes you can't, and you can't skip any cutscenes, and this is a very dialogue heavy game as well. So just enjoy the Fallout style um, intro for the moment. Sickness or old age starts dragging you down. You can bid on a brand new body at your local government auction house. Give yourself and your loved ones a new lease on life. And don't forget, the body subscription service is mandatory for all citizens 21 and older. So protect your investment. Always avoid illicit substances. Never skip any mandated shell inspections. And prioritize your well-being. Physical, psychological, and especially financial. Any lapse subscription payments will result in your body being submitted to a bailiff auction. And remember, any and all violations will be prosecuted by the Department of Mortality. Don't you already know who the murderer is? So which, when we get into the car, we're going to be speaking to our beloved darling angel pie, Rachel. Um, now, in terms of dialogue choices, they'll obviously, obviously always pop up on the left. Now, a lot of them don't actually matter. There's only a couple that really do matter. There's only one that matters in terms of achievement. But one achievement, which I'll obviously tell you later on. So if you don't hear me saying anything, um, that basically just means that you can choose any dialogue option you want as although it says that it affects the story it doesn't affect uh, any achievements so again just pick what you want but you know be nice because it's 2024 and just just be nice okay unless you want to be a dick and you can only do it in video games well there we go now's your chance to do it anyway like i said either or you can choose any dialogue options until i give the say so So apparently uh, our friend James here suffers from, I don't know, like lightning syndrome where he tenses up and lightning shoots out of him or something. That's what it looks like. Anyway, um, like I said, every bit of dialogue that came up, I would always hold the B button just in case. Again, it's obviously the story's brilliant, so it's definitely worth um, not skipping through if you can. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing just for the uh, sake of the video is I'm just going to be pressing the B button where I can on most dialogue options just to see how oh, most dialogue, see if we can flip it through. Um, 
and basically we're gonna get our first achievement here so we're gonna pick up the earpiece pick up the gun pick up well we're gonna pick up everything in the car uh, but we're gonna pick up the moonshine and then we're gonna get a call from old chief detective well his nickname is old biasted so um, we're gonna call him Obi please chief Obi for old biasted and again like I said earlier, dialogue options don't matter, so picking what you want in. Look, the committee of you're no fucking medical miracle, Chick. <sighs> Chief, we've been busting our humps. And you know I've got your back. Come on, Chief. <sighs> yeah? So political case. Disc I'm listening. You'd be doing a favor for a guy. Fuck yes! <laughs> uh, not another word, or also, without your sync tests. So, I'm gonna put you a babies. You asked for it, Sunshine. So, when you are done speaking to Police Chief Obi, now we're gonna interact with... Don't get out of the car just yet. Interact with everything else in the car. So, the newspaper on our right. So, so far, we've got... We've done the earpiece, the gun, the moonshine, which is right in front of us. There it is. Um, the newspaper to our right. Now, I'm just picking them up again just to show you anyway. There we go. Uh, I think there's seven things in the car we need to grab. And apparently that helps with lightning, uh, with your lightning disease. Um, but of a bigger kick. Now, it doesn't matter if you examine that or not. It really, really doesn't matter. I'm not sure if using the wipers counts, but, you know, it's always worth doing anyway. Just to the bottom left of you is... Oh man, I wish I could get a new body. That'd be I'd be straight into a Tom Stoltman World's Strongest Man body, I would, in all fairness. Um but I wonder what body you guys would choose if you had the chance to choose yourself into another body. Anyway, the last item is right in front of us on top of the little TV monitor screen. There it is. Um kind of like I mean, we know what Fallout's mascot is. This could be Nobody Wants to Die's mascot. Anyway, once you have picked up all seven items and had a little look at them, you will get the achievement Restless Hands. And then we can go ahead and open the door and get the hell out of it. And again, like I said, for the last time... Uh, oh, my God, we're flying cars! Bruh, this is, if this is 2039, we're only, what, like 15 years away? These scientists better get on these bloody flying cars, bruv, because we're not too far away. 15 years, we're going to blink. Uh, but anyway, like I said, this next part's very dialogue heavy. There's not a lot going on. So, um, yeah, just skip the dialogue where you can if you want to. Choose any dialogue options you want and enjoy the scenery of what looks like the slummiest part of Slumland. Especially after you fucked up half the city with that train. The case is closed. We were unlucky. That's it. Of course. Guys, look. I want to take a moment. What I need is somebody who treats the rule piece of paper to wipe their... Okay, I'm back. Do my best. Sorry, boss. Sarah, I'm James. I suggest you find... All right, let's get the show... Fine. Looks like... Key You're in Times Square? I have business here. Half the city's had business there lately, thanks to that new broth. I am not in a... <laughs> sure, and I told... Okay, playboy, go for the package. Platform.
People love me. That's just how it is. I just, I'm in the home stretch for a fat promotion. I'm, so I can't afford any mistakes. Who? Me? Oh, come on. Everybody knows the only thing I ask. I'm willing to give it a shot. Great. Better than nothing. That's the spirit. So there we go, 10 minutes in or 12 minutes in, we've had a lot of conversation already and there's plenty more to go yet. Uh, but this is a really, really cool game, Lord Finner. So we're going to interact here with the screen. Uh, this is basically just going to sort us out. Uh, we do need a new body. Um, <clears throat> Stoltman, Tom, Scottish World's Strongest Man Champion three times, please. Enter your full name and shipping code. James Cara 77112P. Police shipment. Additional verification required. Enter badge number. 984. No authorization. Shit. Sarah, I need access. Oh, right. Uh, enter my number. 116739. Thanks. 116739. Thank you. The package is on its way. We hope you enjoy it. <laughs> Thank you, Hermes Burmy. That will do. Give me my stuff and turn back around, get straight back in your car, and go for a little bit more driving with a lot more dialogue. Smug. Green sponsoring some kind of exhibition. Oh, yeah. He'll have to get back on his feet pretty much. Okay, Green, Edward. Sarah? You okay? Shit. Shh. Relax. You said yourself. Redeem my ass. Green's the head of the Covenant. Not fucking hell, James. Why isn't this going... It's a favor for the Chief. What the fuck does Chief stuff? Green's been shaking up. That's where we look. There's always an upside to shit like you get Green's gratitude. Where's his body? Fifth Avenue, top. Looks like it's Green's. Own. You'll get a chance. Yeah. Let's get on with it. Attention, documentation. James, I... Thanks for the concern. But never... I'll ping you when I get... So, 
took this job. I'd take any job at that point, even though political cases fester. At this altitude, the air was... So, James is lightning and uh, the, apparently he's, he's uh, Pikachu. So we're not going to call him James Caro, we're going to call him James Carachu from now on. Uh, but anyway, you should get the story-related achievement Dark City for, well, the achievement description says coming back to life. But for some reason, my stupid Xbox, although I love Xbox, please don't tell uh, Big Phil I said that. Um, but, <laughs> but yeah, so the achievement, there it was anyway. So, we are coming up now to our first out of three, what are called, reconstruction, uh, reconstruction scenes. Um, the first first thing we're going to do is actually get another missable uh, miscellaneous achievement, or three, actually right here. But in terms of the reconstruction signs, of course, even though it's only 15 minutes away, the police have had a uh, lot of help um, in figuring out, uh, well... Apparently, according to this game, they've had a lot of help uh, in terms of technology, which we will see in just a bit. Um, so you don't actually have to check this bit out just yet. Um, and again, we're not doing the crime scene just yet. We're going to be cracking on with a couple of miscellaneous achievements. So as soon as James stops, or Pikachu stops talking, we're going to go up the stairs to our right. So there we go then, go ahead, head up the steps, and when we get to the top of the steps, take an immediate right. There you go, I did just miss that, but take the immediate right there. And then what you're going to see then is, uh, this is all just chocolate. Uh, because apparently in 15 years, chocolate's going to be obsolete as well. And it's going to be part of the Boomer Museum, which is damn, damn shame. Now I'm not sure if the options do matter or if they don't matter in terms of um, when we're going to be describing this smell to Sarah, um, but uh, I'm not too sure. Now, if there's something and you have actually missed a miscellaneous achievement in a part, um, you can actually just go ahead, quit to the main menu, go to continue, and it normally just starts at the beginning of the section. Um, so we're going to go ahead and describe the smell anyway. Uh, again, I'm not sure if options don't matter, but just choose these ones just in case. And again, if you don't get the achievement for whatever reason, quit to the main menu, go to continue, and you'll just start at the beginning of this reconstruction scene anyway. So next up, we're going to choose tobacco. Taking synthetic tobacco and smearing it on your fingers. Tell you what, why don't you try describing it in a way that doesn't sound gross? And then, of course, say I can give it a shot. Ah, get it? Because Americans love shooting. And somehow, we did, didn't didn't America just finish last in the uh, Olympic shooting event uh, as we choose a cigar? Like a cigar? So make sure to choose a cigar right there. Um, but yeah, we're a guy from Turkey finished second with no protective gear whatsoever. America, you've been training years for this. Years of academy training wasted. <laughs> Anyway, enough about the um, enough about you Americans shooting. I know I know I know not all Americans are into shooting and stuff. Uh, but now choose sniff, sniff, sniff. And if we're taking the if I'm taking the P out of Americans, uh, let's take the P out of British people. Anyone that says sniff, as we choose joy, bitter, and warm. By the way, so choose joy, bitter, and warm. But yeah, if you tell a British drug head sniff. They, they think it's they think it's totally something totally different because while not all Americans like to shoot, not all British people like to sniff drugs. Um, so we'll just get out there anyway. I'm gonna shut up now. I'm just digging myself a deeper and deeper hole. Okay, goodbye. Cigar, and you feel joy in your heart. Exactly. Okay. Okay, it's been two minutes. I think I've been forgiven. Okay, thanks for not cancelling me, everyone. Okay, so what we're going to do now is get uh, two achievements. And on the desk, what you are going to find is um, a uh, basically a bunch of documents. And you can tell which important documents they are. But eventually we'll have the choice whether we can leave them or burn them. So we're going to get both achievements. So we're going to 
get the one achievement, and then we're going to go ahead and quit to the main menu, continue, and come back here. Now, you can... Uh, there, there, there's the document. There's the documents, by the way. So, you can interact with these. Again, skip through the dialogue, if you so wish, with Sarah. But again, we'll get the choice here to leave or burn it. What we're going to do first is press up on the D-pad to leave it in order to get the cold case documents. And then once that unlocks, we can go and press the start button, go to quit, and then continue back in. So I took this job. I'd take any job at that point, even though political cases fester like rust-laced wounds. I was off to hang out with high society. At this altitude, the air was so clean that without a smoke, I was beginning to suffocate. Okay, so this time we can go straight back to the documents at the end of the table and we can burn them in order to get the fire starter achievement. A classic prodigy song, um, but yes, that's how we do that. Now, obviously a lot throughout the game you can have a look at, there's a whole bunch of items that we can take a look at and everything, um, but they don't even really count as clues or evidence or anything like that, so it's literally there just for story related purposes. So obviously, if you see me go through and not pick up a lot of stuff, well, that is why. Because uh, you don't, again, you don't really need to pick up every single item in the game unless you want to. So here we are, here we are then, back at the documents. And again, when we get the choice, we're going to click uh, left or right on the D-pad. Which one is it? Right to burn them. And then the Prodigy songs, uh, Prodigy songs, going to start, and then we're all going to have a hell of a disco. Who do you think you are? I'm James Pikachu, bruh. Hey, swear at me. Stupid. Anyway. Right, okay. So, um, we're going to be coming up to a reconstruction scene time soon. Um, now, I did, again, I did have a little uh, pick up of these items just to uh, have a little check of them, whether they were going to be interesting for the story or if they were part of any evidence or any clues but again like I said a lot of these don't relate into evidence and clues they're just sort of there for story uh, story stuff so what we can do then is actually um, head to the right and then go up the staircase when you are ready you never got remarried what happened to the first wife? Refused Icarite. Died a natural death. Uh, James? Probably synthetic. What you might call tobacco adjacent, or... Shit, maybe they are real. James, tell me you're not going to steal a cigar. I may be a lot of things, but I'm no fucking thief. Oh, and here I thought you had no shame at all. I don't. Still not a fucking thief, though. So what we're going to do here is now interact with the door. I'm going to get a bit of dialogue, but we will be able to use our X-ray for the first time. So we get a couple of handheld items that we can use through the game. Uh, basically one of those blue light uh, UV rays and an X-ray. So what you'll do, you'll open it up with the left trigger. Uh, open up with the right trigger. Hold the left trigger in order to obviously open up the X-ray. And then normally it is a yellow wire that we can follow. So, again, you'll follow me, and we're going to head down the steps directly in front of us. Uh, for now, because there's no yellow wire up here. But the yellow wire will appear right here in the jelly area somewhere. There was a pool of lecithin gel underneath the floor, feeding that big tree whole thing went up like a stick of dynamite. Somewhere. Uh, but what we'll do now is take a photo of the Hanging Green. Uh, that's his name. It's, uh, I'm not calling him a green body. His name's actually Green. Um, and now, 
Again, after we just get through a couple more dialogue options here with Sarah, Sarah, I don't know. Moving on to reconstruction. And here we are going to be introduced to reconstruction for the first time. So go ahead, press the A button. You get this like little cool device pop up on your wrist. And what you need to do then is, so basically you, you need to hold the left trigger. Uh, it's going to be different every time for you, uh, but it's still very easy. So basically where these sort of lit up things are, um, so again, what I'll do is press the left trigger, then the right trigger, and then both of them together. Um, even, you can't really fail it, it just sort of starts winding down, um, so you can't really fail that one, but that's how you do that, so, um, you've just got to press either the left trigger or right trigger based on where the light parts are. And then with this one, um, so once we have reconstructed... We can go ahead and again on your wrist it's come up with a new different little thing so a little tiny yellow marker will appear so you press either the left trigger or right trigger in order to get the marker to that yellow part and then you are able to go into like a little part of an extra scene and then we can go ahead and find extra clues that we wouldn't have been able to find before so go ahead and press the a button here on green's head Damn, son, that is one melted head. Like, you mean final death? Dead? Well, just... Sarah, listen. I've seen this before. We have to report this. Sarah, relax. <laughs> Omega code 1123. So again, always have a look at your wristwatch, the big police wristwatch. And again, you'll need to press the left trigger in order to get the marker up to the little flashy yellow section. Oh, okay, it did go a little bit too quick there, apparently. Uh, but again, that puts it that puts you right in the scene. So you will now analyze Green's body. Again, it may seem a little bit uh, complicated and a bit confusing first, but it does get very easy to use. Uh, gets very quick yeah, um, for you to get used to it. So again, we'll reconstruct again. So for me, I'll hold the left trigger. Uh, so it's uh, on the lit up part and then just the right trigger on its own and that'll get this part and ne basically the next part of the reconstruction going and then again as I said you're going to keep looking at your wristwatch uh, telling you what you need to do so put it on the yellow bit now you can actually go inside of the uh, we'll call it the old spongebob bubble the old rubber de sabre bubble and then again, once you're inside, you can have a look at an extra little bit of clue that we wouldn't have been able to find before. And in this case, it's directly in front of us on the tree. The gel's flammable. There may have been a short circuit. I need to find the source. James, don't fuck. Now you can press the Y button to open up your... Um, sort of, um, yeah, gadget menu. That's that's what it is, gadget menu. But you really don't need to do that um, because throughout the game, it'll tell you when you basically just have a look at something. It'll tell you to open it up, so you don't actually ever have to open up this gadget menu. Um, but we do have the X-ray, so we'll pop the X-ray out, and now we can just go ahead and follow the yellow wire. Follow the yellow wire home, like we bloody the uh, Wizard of Oz or something. Come on then, Dorothy, let's go. Uh, but we're going to follow it around to the right. Well, I can see you're having a great time. Right. The main transformer is under the floor.
Steven. Listen. You found a file. I can I want those files on my desk. Oh, it's a suicide now. You can call it a motherfucking ascension. Oh, I sit here where it all stinks. And it's not just Green's rotting corpse. Now, in terms of dialogue options with the little lock, uh, if there's a little lock option, I'll always just pick that one. Um, that basically just progresses the story even more forward. Um, so what we'll do, we are going to... Uh, you didn't need to head all the way around. You could have literally just looked back and... Um, <laughs> you could have just turned 360 degrees and had a look at it there, but I decided to go the long way because... I don't know why. Uh, doing the little reconstruction part then, now we're coming up to the little yellow wristband watch part of life again so hopefully you're already starting to get used to this like I said first of all it does it does take a little bit of time to get used to but um, you'll know when you're at it uh, because some uh, James will say something and we'll be able to just uh, progress the story forward James I wasn't born yesterday you said that before Someone not only flooded the Transformer, but also ripped up the... Right, so next up then, once we have the uh, marker, the yellow marker, the marker, the yellow marker, we're going to go into this bubble. It's going to take a photo of the tree. Okay. This is... Looks okay. very emblematic. You want to be careful of Knuckles isn't on his way. Anytime uh, uh, Knuckles hears a word emblem, he's straight on it. Um, so yeah, once that's done again, we're going to use the yellow marker there at the mar the regular marker to get into the yellow marker and there should be another Robert de Sable bubble there it is so that's what we're gonna head into ah but I'm stuck okay no I'm not stuck now we're all good so get inside and then analyze the blood on the floor someone tried to smash that glass before the explosion cracked it and left a handprint stop it James You've got to stop this. What? What's he doing? Oh, you're fine. Or did somebody else use Green's forehead? Why can't we see the killer in the reconstruction? You covered his tracks. Pretty damn skill. So someone was here. Fucking hell. What? You gonna tattle to the chief of- Would you just let that drop already? Holy fuck, Sarah, there's br- Uh, just get on- Shit. What happened? The fuse is just blue. What? The reconstructor needs massive amounts. Sometimes the limiter doesn't adjust to the environment. So I don't have to do everything myself after all, huh? A man could get used to this. I just shifted power from three different neighborhoods so you can keep playing. Someone with the president? Hmm, I recognize. What the fuck is this? A bike. Or rather, a wheel off a bike. And people rode on it? How? Like a motorcycle. Very yeah, ominous looking bit of whiskey or whatever that was there. The murder perhaps. Okay, so once Sarah, Sarah or Sarah, I don't know, however, however you say it, has sorted us out. Get yourself in the yellow marker once again. Probably and we can pick up the stopwatch directly in front of us. Make sure to examine the that. Best of friends, always auspicious win. I'm getting a bad head off this thing. Friends now. I wonder why a gift from Green is in his own home. Let's see what the patient has to say. Check something out for me, would you? I need to know about a drug called Prose of Life. Introduced in 2208. It's based on fluoxetine. Then when you picked up the pill bottles on the floor, head to the next yellow marker point, and then 
Uh, again, it's going to be on Green's body, so just analyze it, Green's body. Now, the clues to finding this first reconstruction scene are generally easy, uh, but they do get a little bit more difficult to spot and see in later ones, so... Yeah, anyway, we don't need to worry about that. We're not there yet. We're, we're, we're only 36 Sarah, minutes in, so... He fell from there. If he cut himself on the railing, there should be blood on it. So, yellow marker that boy up, and then on the rail directly in front of us is going to be the bloody handprint. Again, this is what I mean by, you could be looking, um, just two handprints we can have a look at. But you could be looking for ages, and uh, it may seem like nothing's there, when it's there directly in front of you this whole time. So basically, if you're inside a bubble, that clue is going to be inside that bubble somewhere. No, he didn't cut him. Green's fingerprints are on the railing. So he was leaning against it? Looks that way. They came from this side. They? Half of the reconstruction is inconsistent. We don't have enough information to find the other one. How do you think this went down? Green gave up after the fight and did whatever the perpetrator told him. I'm thinking he put the rope around. Well, in any case. Right, so for this one then, once we get the yellow mark going, it is the bloody boot print on the floor just behind the green. Wait, there's a blood trail here. He must have... I don't leave home without it. And with that, we're going to use our UV lamp for the first time. Lucky this is just for uh, searching for blood. Lucky we don't have any other liquids that we have to find, because that would be gross. Uh, so just follow the blood trail. And then we'll be able to do another reconstruction scene just where the blood trail ended on the top of these stairs here. Another trace of blood. Hit it with the UV lamp. Must have been bleeding a lot. Well, look at that. The tracks connect. Deserved what he got? I do. And it still wasn't on shit. <sighs> oh please.
He's got something on his clothes. Some kind of chemical? Huh. Must be rare as shit, then. It stretches across the floor. I'll switch to UV. Actually, this way. Looks like Green is rummaging around the Transformer. Cables are torn out. Same as the one around Green's neck. You think he did it? I think someone made him do it. I've lost visual. Don't want to know. Whatever. The feds are on their way there, so consider this a heads up. If they find you, I don't fucking know you. Are you... You're serious? We've been friends for fucking decades. You... How's the situation? They're coming. Time to clean up. Sarah. I've been honest with you from the beginning. James. Then we've got a deal. Yes, now. Okay, bruh. It's time to bruh. It's time to go. So we'll just put the... Uh, you don't have to. You can just leave it as, as you want if you wish. I don't know if that actually makes any difference. But we'll just put it on the yellow marker. We'll turn towards the door and get out of here. So... Yeah, that's pretty much, the reconstruction scenes always last around 20 to 25 minutes or so, each one. Um, but it's, again, generally, they're, they're effectively easy enough. It's literally, you reconstruct a part, then you do the yellow marker bit, find a clue in there, and then you just uh, either use the x-ray or the UV lamp to follow something. Generally, again, they are quite easy. So it won't be as common, common ish I think that's a word. It is now. It won't be so commentary 8 ish uh, during the next two reconstructionies. Uh, but again, that will get us the Who's Afraid of Green achievement. And I'll tell you what, weed heads are definitely not afraid of green. Yeah, in fact, they'll lap it up. Nom, nom, nom. Or that could be uh, true about vegans as well. Who's afraid of green? Not me. I love eating broccoli for breakfast, dinner, and lunch. Or tea. Or whatever the hell people say. Uh, but yeah, broccoli is a lonely, disgusting life. Anyway, there's only really one path that we can go. Um, which, uh, again, the, the game's kind of open, but there's a lot of linear paths in this world. Um, apart from that bit where I just went down the wrong path, sorry. Eh, give back our bodies? Uh, nah, I'm good. Bro, I've just gone into the world's strongest man's body. Uh, I ain't giving that back. I'm strong. Anyway, welcome back to our apartment.
Welcome home. James, Kara, how was your... Excellent. Only one... I'm glad to hear that. Okay, so let's get another achievement here. Once the option pops up above us there, let's go ahead and examine this. We're going to have... <laughs> there it is. He doesn't actually say his name. So we're getting a message from Police Chief Old Bayester, or OB1 Kenobi for short, or just OB. Uh, so that should get you the Old Bayester achievement. There we go. And then we're going to get another miscellaneous achievement in James's apartment as well. Basically, what we're going to do is head to the right hand side and head to the bathroom where we're going to, and again, for some reason, in just 15 years. We're going to be doing shared bathrooms with people in the next door neighbor's room. It's It really is a piece of crap. Uh, but anyway, head into the bathroom and then you're going to head into what you think would be a shower. Um, but it's actually not. So we need to interact with that button there. <laughs> the decontaminator mode pops up. And then we're going to use that. Now you're going to have a little sort of um, fake argument. But basically, in order to get the game achievement, we need to choose the second option every time. So just keep using the second option every single time and you will win this game. So again, the second option, right on the D-pad every time. Lock and a quick right. Dodge and a hook from below. Elbow block and a headbutt. Forearm on the neck, elbow to the face. Impossible. I'm, I'm down. You got lucky. Let's go the next one. It's hard to get used to a face marked by someone else's mistakes, though for some reason. It's much easier with the eyes. Once the life fades out of them, they can belong to anyone. And then once that is done, you should then get the game achievement, or you should already have had it. Okay, so go ahead, move the couch, and we're going to be doing some evidence board stuff. But it's, rather than evidence board, it's more carpet board. So after a big move of the couch, uh, again, obviously we all know what an evidence board is. You need to just pinpoint certain things that we've already seen at the crime scenes, and put them to other clues in order to get a scene going. There's... Yep. Now, if you do get one wrong, literally doesn't matter at all, so don't panic about that. But there are three, obviously, that we're going to do um, throughout the game. We're going to need to ask Sarah for help. Sarah. How's the job going? To complete my report, I need to sum... You heard Chief Steiner. He wants it classified. We were supposed to put our car... I appreciate that. But would you think I don't know why the Chief put you on restricted duty? I read your wife's case file. Uh, forgive me for mentioning her. Sarah, listen to me very carefully. We're in this together, and it's a lot bigger than the chief. Sooner or later, the report will... Unless we consider all the circ... Oh, fuck. Mm-hmm. No, sorry, just quickly. Is it Sarah... Sarah without the H, I thought was Sarah, and Sarah with the H was Sarah. Ah, I suppose you can do whatever you want, can you? Right, okay, so this is the evidence board then, so we've got the main question mark here, so what you'll need to do is grab any of the clues and put them on top of the question mark in order to basically progress the board going. So the first time, we're, we're going to pick up Sarah's doubts and we're going to move it over to beating. So press the A button when they're both together, beating and Sarah's doubts. And that will get another one uh, pop up. What happened here? 
Then we're going to put what happened here, and we are going to put it right there onto wound. What happened here onto wound, put that one together, um, and then we can go ahead. Uh, we'll just move that in the middle there. Again, if you, want, if you want to, you can move the clues around so you get a little bit more space. Um, we get another two question marks here as well. Uh, once, basically, once Sarah or Sarah or whatever the hell stops talking, uh, that's where we get another couple of question marks. Now, it's easier to obviously drag the clues on the left over to the question mark uh, points. Uh, but for some reason, I completely done that ass backwards for for the, for the <laughs> for a second. Uh, but what we're going to do here is we're going to pick up the. Um, uh, we're just going to get rid of we got this uh, but again it is definitely worth uh, if you want to make it a bit more space um, just so you can actually see what the hell you're doing but we have a lot more clues which is exactly what I'm about to do but if you because uh, it is looking a bit crowded here but if you want to carry if you just want to carry on um, look for the clue commemorative watch and then on the left here and then place that with potential culprit and motive, which is on the question mark. So commemorative watch, which is one of the green clues, onto the gold-plated question mark, which says um, culprit and motive. Must have happened before. Maybe he shot someone? Somebody had to be pretty damn determined to fuck Green Zicker right up the Somebody. Right. Could have been Green himself. Hmm. Got something? No, nah, it's nothing. It'll be hard to defend the theory about these cables. The moment of the fall is puzzling. I want to say that someone kicked him, but we don't have enough... I know. Want to guess which one's the best friend? Nope. I have to wonder if someone just dropped it here, or if they threw it back in Green's face. Okay, so there, that one is then, so potential culprit and motive, and put that to commemorative watch, as I said. And then the next thing you're going to do is put the toxicology report, uh, the green toxicology report clue, onto the cause of death question mark, or vice versa. So, cause of death. Make sure to put that to toxicology report. What a weird shit. Let me guess. Some of these substances don't show up in the system. Yeah. How did you... I'd say we're looking at... No. What? Next up, we're going to grab the sentimental farewell question mark, and then we're going to find Green's journal clue. So uh, find Green's journal. That's what we're going to pop it into. I actually placed it in the middle, and for some reason it took me ages to find. Because I stupid, sorry. If that says what I think it says, we're getting somewhere. This is no proof. What? But a very solid hypothesis. Uh, I agree. Let's move on. And then next up, once you've done this, uh, grab the doctor patient confidentiality question mark and put it onto dead Icarite. Clue. If we knew how the perpetrator and again, I was spreading stuff out, you know, to try and make it a bit more... Ooh, look how professional this is. But honestly, it doesn't matter. You can just cram them all in at once if you want, as long as you get the clues all good. And another question mark has appeared here. So, let's go ahead and do that one. It is the home stretch. And then you're going to go ahead and put that on bottle. So, home stretch onto bottle. Hold the A button to conclude the analysis, and you will get the, uh, you should not get any achievement here, but that is one of the three evidence boards complete. Ari, why don't I know about it? It's not in the archive. Because it's not. Oh, wait a minute. It turns out, I think. You took physical ev- They'll put us in jail for this. It's beautiful. A vial of strange liquid. More importantly, the material of the vial might- Show me. If you have any more stolen, not the consult your doctor. There's even a term for it: kleptomania. Symptoms in. Your herm coat. Nine seven fucking. Around Liberty Island, huh? None of your.
Everything was in Sarah's hands now, which was neat since my own hands were shaking in a delirium I inherited after some punk I've never known. And one more thing, in the- What about evidence analysis? You got evidence- I'll send it as is. Maybe we'll find something- Or we can just pretend- a complicated and unfortunate accident in which Icarite... <sighs> Damn it, what am I doing? A specific fraud theory that doesn't quite... <sighs> Wait. Enough. Numerous clues indicate the involvement of third parties. Suicide or accident is excluded. Nobody sticks their head outside anymore. As if they wanted to believe this ugly world does not really exist. Huddled in their little flats over the few cents they managed to save towards a, a new body. Never asking themselves whether the survival instinct makes the urban rats happier. Or is this only the selfish genes, free riding on the suffering of subsequent generations? Other alien forces exploiting their drive towards self-preservation, their desperate struggle to stay alive a little longer. Desperate struggle that even Green has eventually lost. These people are probably the person. James. No, I went out for a breather. That sample, you were right. It's There was a fragment of a print on So, who does the print belong to? It's a damn big fish. Oh, you're gonna make me beg? What's the fucking name? I don't want to say right. I sent you everything by snail man. Deja vu. So press the B button there to back out and then we can go ahead and go back to our apartment To be fair mind that that's a pretty um Obviously when it's not dark dreary and raining that'll probably be a nice place to sit down and hang out in all fairness Apart from you know if you peed someone off and then they push you off and although you can just get a new body I don't know it's a it's a confusing future Anyway head back into our apartment again. There's only really one way that we can go a lot of bottles there for James Pikachu Kara. Yeah, just go ahead. Head over to the right. Interact with your snail mail car career carrier thing. And ooh, what do we have? Some Founder Prones. That's nice. A 98% match. Now, how'd you miss 2% of that? Anyway, I'm not a police expert. Although I am an armchair Facebook expert, like 98% of us are. I knew it. You still think we can't clear this one? I wouldn't start celebrating yet. We'll never get to him. He basically never steps outside Icarus. But you do believe this is a murder now? Well, yes, but... Special announcement. And we ask residents of the borough insurance for bottle... James, did you hear the announcement? I even felt it. Are you that close to it? Are you alright? Uh, the newsfeed said it crashed into a building and that it's about to fall into a chasm. Yeah. We can't pass up a fucking golden opportunity like this. Pass up a go- No, wait, James, are you crazy? Too late, bye! Alright, so that's the next part of the story done. We will now get ten on Done. And then we go, we're actually going to be coming up to our next reconstruction scene, which is a bit longer than the first one, and slightly more complicated because there's like a whole bunch of guys that uh, there's like three or four guys that we have to inverse the girt. Uh, but for now, what we're going to do is just head down the steps and just continue following the path around. There's again, there's only really one path that we can go. So just when we get to the end here, what we're going to do is take a left. Sounds like good advice. All you sons 
sons of bitches in Brooklyn and get the Sarah, mute this channel. What? You allergic to orders? Yes, I am. Ah, oh, what's this, man? Ah, oh, come on, who's leaving a goddamn vinyl record? It looks like a classic, too. And again, for some reason, what I don't get is in some futures, in some games in, in the future, uh, they end up going back to, like, 1950s, 1960s styles, which actually is never a bad thing. Um, especially when, uh, I mean, we don't we don't need any more broccoli heads. We'll, we'll just leave that in early 2020s. No more broccoli head people, please. We're all good. So, reconstruction scene, number two out of three. Now, obviously, like I said, if you're just following along, it should, you know, it should be generally easy. Now, since you have an idea of how to do it, how to do the whole yellow marker and reconstruction-y bit, um, but first of all, I'm going to go ahead and take a couple of pictures of these deadness, bogness, Regis's bodies. Question. I bet his corpse will open right up. Recognize it? Doesn't match the one on Fox. Whoever done that, that was a hell of a shot straight through the old skull and bone. Uh, so the next body then, if we take a left, well, it doesn't really matter. Take a left or right, doesn't matter. But we're basically going to go uh, around the bar. And you can see just in front of us is like a big stage looking thing. The next body is going to be... Oh, if, if I was just behind us, sorry. So just behind us on the st uh, from the stage first. So there's the second body. And then when we turn around and go back towards the stage, the next body is going to be uh, more or less directly in front of that stage on the floor. Maybe this one? No resemblance whatsoever. Shit, I can't find it. Moving on to reconstruction. James, we don't have time. Sarah, I'm going to find out what happened here full stop, understand? Okay, sure. So your Robert de Sable bubble is going to be over on the left hand side. So you don't actually have to go through the blast, just go through the left. And there it is, so head inside. And again, some of these, because there's just a lot of debris and everything, it may seem harder to find some of these clues. Um, but the first clue is, again, it's going to stay in this bubble, so you can't really get out of it. We need to find it. And I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Get in the bubble, damn it! Move! Why I stand still for so long? Get in there! It's the safe. That's what we're looking for, the safe. Jesus Christ! Survived. Shit, do you recognize this? The same as green. James, don't... We have to reconstruct... Far back as it'll go. So we don't know what caused the explosion. Not yet. James, if Kovalev finds out, this whole place is about. To, I'm not about. Hey, if you fall, I'll say fine. Kovalev's prints are everywhere. Well, it is his bar. Looks like he's built a few Bloody Marys, so to speak. Let's follow the trail. Traces lead here. Some unidentified substance. Reads is flammable. Kovalev started walking from this spot. Feeling like a faucet. Awesome. 
So once you get inside of here, it's gonna you're gonna analyze uh, dude's shoulder, which is obviously got a bullet piercing straight through it. Hell of a shootout, mind. Someone shot him. Endangered species. I'll figure out where the shots come. Got the latest generation? One that picks up the trajectory of bullets? Relax. I'm old fashioned, but I make exceptions for toys that make my job easier. Attacker shot from the stage. Any thoughts on who did the shooting? Got a dead guy here who'd make it. Okay, so what we're gonna do after this part, if you look directly to the right of you, we're gonna take the photo of the next body. And uh there's a lot of blood as well. Jesus monkeys. This is a hell of a seems like a hell of a western, the old modern western in snazzy shoots. Uh, snazzy suits, I mean. So take a picture of the gun, too. Is it him? He shot Kovalev before he got hit himself. So once you get in the old bubble hell, uh, make sure to uh, analyze the blood next to the body. Again, this is what I mean by some of the clues in this Especially in this reconstruction scene, can be very... It, it looks like there's nothing there. But there is, so, you know, that's what I'll be mainly speaking about in my commentary tating. ...by someone called Miller? If I were this guy, I'd look for another job. He fired four shots before he fell to the ground. But only one hit Kovalev. Why was a security guard shooting at Kovalev? Good question. Something provoked him. He must have been startled to have such shitty aim. Right in the Icarite. Whoever tapped him was a fucking excellent shot. So now the question is, who? Exactly. So long, Edmund Christo Basmond. So that was top recon in Roy's. Right, head down and we're going to interact and reconstruct the burnt victim of life. Oh, he's looking a bit uh, he's looking a bit worse for wear, isn't he? You're going to sleep that one off, lad. Fire only consumed his flesh. True. To a guy like like clockwork. You recognize him? John Park? The third one in the photo with Green. The main shareholder of Demmer? <sighs> Fucking Demmer. Ribs completely crushed. Multiple minor injuries. Covered in some kind of flammable shit. We found the same substance on Kovalev. What does it look like to you? Something exploded right next to him. Concussive force broke all his bones. Shit. Yeah, well, suffering's nothing new. Can you find the source of the ex- As long as this shit- So once you've examined the body then, uh, right on the floor, directly to the left of the body now, you can use the UV lamp. Looks like the 
center of the blast was in this lounge. Time to check on Park's friends. What was... hung? What'd you say? Nothing. Just that we better get a move on. Martin Roy, the owner of- Shit. He seemed like- You knew him? Nah, not really. A scarf? I saw this pattern- Uh, it's a scarf. Similar. I- Uh-huh. But, uh- it No, not yet. Read the Icarite. Destroyed? Doesn't look that way. I just can't access it. Now, this is a part where I expect to hear I don't want to set the world on fire. Anyway, have a look at his wrist or his hand, and that is where the next clue is coming from. Purely just for the explosion and the facial expression is why, why I'm thinking Fallout. And the I don't want to set the world on fire song. Yep. Got some documents. I don't believe it. Do people like this always keep secret papers just lying around for anyone to see? Looks like the law on lowering the. What? They want to make it even. Mm, and add tons. Have they gone fucking in. Their plans will have to wait. It'll be years before they're back on their feet after the transplant, especially... Are you going to... Uh, even if I wanted to. <sighs> right. Fuckers. Whoever blew them up may have had a point. Got that right. What do you think? They're special. Skewer. Get what? He was in pain. That much force? I didn't stand a chance. So into the next section, it's the white pipes directly below us. Again, I kept missing that and it was peeing me off, but it is just the white pipes there. And like I said, obviously I haven't spoken much into this reconstruction bit, generally because hopefully you sort of incline you're still able to follow along hopefully hopefully i'm going sort of slow slash fast enough um that we know what we're doing as we interact um well let's get the yellow marker going of course first um but yeah so hopefully it is just a case of easily following along doing the reconstruction and then just picking up the clues and just carrying on and carrying on uh, but once we get into this next obviously it's just the old neck bags the old nils dean it's How the fuck did he get in here? Jello? Yeah, a little.
This next pack tripped me up a little bit as well. There's a little bit of blood on the floor. A little bit of blood on the floor. That's what we're going to be analysing. And again, for some reason, that just tripped me up mega for like five minutes. Be visible under UV. Thanks, detective. What do you make of this wound? Adrenaline's a hell of a drug. The blood trail leads all the way to the lounges. It must have come from there. Did him. Let's see where he jumped from. The whole couch is fucked up. Is this more of the undercover's blood? Nah, it would have bled out. Must belong to the guy next door. Check the DNA for me? No data. I'll take photos. What is that? A brand name? Could be. Or maybe somebody... Nailed him right through the head. Damaged. Some. I'll check for ballistic trajectories. The side of the bar erupted in a hail of hot lead. Into what? People. They sat there in the lounge, all cloak and dagger and hushed tones, until... He managed to scram. Agile body. Fast react. Where did he get the money for that? The bullet turned his brain to mush. Years to reconstruct his ick. James, can you get into this? Okay. Lock works. Let's see. At least we know where he got them. You've never been tempted to. No, no! Put it down! Yeah, yeah. Uh, just asking. Why is our agent neck? Hey, I remember that agent. From Rachel's case. James. No, no, listen. If he's... We really don't have time. Right, right. I don't think we'll get any more. Let's move on. How can we connect? Ballistics points to Kovalevo. I'll check around the bar again. That's what I figured. Kovalev used the Tommy gun. Why did he shoot his own people? First he took out Green, and he turned against his own. Started with Kovalev. 
First, he served a cocktail. He treated the next guest with a hail of bullet. He finally earned a bullet himself from Oscar Winner. Kovalev gave as good as... In the end, he finished off the crooked UC. It's all just... Necessary or not. He got hit hard. We're lucky. Nobody says that. Right. Time to break out. We've got a lead. The trail leads to this guy. We've got Kovalev's prints on the handle of the knife. Just his drinks that had a kick. Who's the knifer? Zikarite's cut. Another one of Miller's bodyguards. Seriously? What is he? Nice display of bravado. I bet he was in the army. You don't get re- But also say he had to use- Self up? Nah. How much did he have? Following the trail of blood. Again. You know, like they say you're supposed to. <laughs> he really didn't like this job. Why didn't he blow himself up sooner? Good question. Here, you got hit again. Kovalev got shot a few times, but he kept going. The reconstruction's complete. Get the So that's effectively the end of the reconstruction scene. Some of the poses that these guys were making were just damn hilarious. So what we're going to need to do then, before we leave, we are going to... Uh, apparently I went the completely wrong way. But get the yellow marker up. We need to open up the safe. Um, and what, why we need to open up the safe is we need to actually grab the bottle of scotch that's inside it. It's uh, very important for an achievement um, in around 10 minutes or so. Um, but just go ahead, keep doing the whole yellow marker thing. And we can open up the safe and make sure to take the scotch. When you get the option to, make sure that you take the scotch. A real scotch? Are you crazy? Go! universe has presented us with a gift. Gotta respect the universe. It's a card. There's something on it. 
but without any data. You're out of time. Take what you have to take and run. Wait, there's something else there. There's no... See this? Green wrote to Kovalev. Ah! Uh. Right, I can think... Could Green and Kovalev have been working together? And why did the fucking bartender want to blow himself up? Sarah, are you there? Oh. And I suppose you're... No. Buzz yourself around the ripest corpse. The one you missed. You'll need to be more precise. They're close to Kovalev. Close enough. Time could be the net the bastard was... I had to act fast. Looks like a big wig. Did you find him? What kind of shape is he in? Dead. Just a temporary state for big wigs like him. Unfortunately. I'm betting green is on your shit list too, huh? We don't have to worry about it anymore, do we? <laughs> Let's focus on the one at your feet. Do you recognize him? Wait a minute. George Boyle, CTC director. From the rotten family that invented the Icarite. His signature was on the documents from the lounge. He and the others found a way to strip the poor of their bodies to pad the pockets of rich assholes. He's just another dead asshole to me. What do you want? You have a unique chance to get justice. Desynchronize him. Buy some time for the poor people. How? This is just his corpse. It's cold. The guy no longer feels anything. Shoot him through his Icarite. He'll suffer. Now, this next part is... I mean, a lot of... From what I've seen, people say that it is important um, to basically... Uh, this stranger is going to basically tell you to pull the trigger and basically end his life completely. Um, no, we're not going to do that. So we're, we're just not going to do it, just in case. Um, I, again, I'm really not sure if... Even if you do shoot him, that it affects any achievements later on down the line. But again, just to be on the very, very safe side, always choose do not shoot. So DNS, did not start, do not shoot. The trigger. Really? No guts? Who are cops here to defend? People like Boyle? Innocent folks, this is a chance for some justice. Are you on their side? What, they brainwashed you? Come on, pull the trigger. Come on! Fuck you. I'm nobody's puppet. Yes, you are. Own you. You proved it. Ah, oh, damn! Can you hear me? It's about to go down. I've got to get out. James, you have to get out of there. Bet my not so great body on a great hand, and damn was I right. Instead of dead, I was ahead for once and ready to break the case of the century. Hey, Chief. I didn't hear 
anything. I got some evidence. Fuck. You listen to me right now. Chief. Nope. That's it. By the way, it's funny how uh, when he took the scotch, it said, Oh no, decision affects the story. Oh no. A dead bartender's gonna miss his, uh, <laughs> gonna miss his scotch. Ah, I don't care. Yeah, crusty OB. <laughs> For some reason, calling someone crusty is just even funnier. Uh, again, you could choose any dialogue options that you want here over the next part. It's, it doesn't, again, doesn't affect the achievements or anything, so pick, pick in what you want in. Nothing but a delusional little fuck. What buries the needle on cr I try to stop thinking about it. I try to back away. For one simple reason. I'll tell you one thing for damn sure. Fucking nothing would stop. This city has a disease. It's like, I know the dream. When my whole world spins out of control and flies apart. Right, so now we have a very difficult choice to make. So you can either drink the moonshine, which would be nice now, but uh, probably in 15 years we're already getting, uh, we, we're probably already, uh, they're just having a look at it now. Or to get the achievement called Old Fashioned, we are of course going to drink the scotch. That's, I think that one was plainly obvious. So make sure to take the scotch, make sure to drink it, and that is how you will get the Old Fashioned achievement. than perfume. <sighs> the Icarus disaster has shaken the city. I wonder how Sarah is the... Hello? Hi, Sarah. Are you listening? night are you drinking again relax i'm on you or the car <sighs> did you hear oh, no shit sherlock they've been tr wait till they find out politicians have tried to look <sighs> they'll get over it just another do you know that i barely saved up all the money was spent on living if i Sorry. Thousands of people in the same boat every year. Not everyone makes it. And these fucks want to take away what little chance they have. How can they? Everyone has their own pile of shit, not a budget. People's lives cool off. You're young. Oh fuck, I really can't understand it. How can they just make decisions like that between drinks? Like human lives mean nothing. Are there any moral boundaries left? Maybe we cross every boundary if we live long enough. Ever? It's bullshit. Well, until you realize you'll be busted. You seriously think people are fun? 
All I know is there are too many temptations in our way. And if we live long enough, we tr This isn't just nihilism. It's doom gibberish. But hey, you're entitled to your opinion, whatever it might be. James, can I ask? Sure. Go ahead. Do you believe in life after? And I thought I was. Well, apparently in the past. Because the average lifespan was. Li and now, can we believe? Okay. She'll believe it too. Fuck. I'm sorry. R relax. Nothing happened. What if you could choose? Oh, shit. Part of that may be conditioning. Met when the body gets certain signals, it's trained. Okay, got it. Do you take care of regular synchro tests? Uh, it doesn't matter. It's just. James, you're talking bullshit. It's your duty to do that. Thanks. You think people can swap butt? Well, the longest living guy turns 300. Seriously, it's all about the money. The more we have. I think consciousness has an expiration date. I don't know. Someone at all will ask for your issues. How did the- Why do you ask? Well, did it go smooth? <laughs> Apparently, we're unaware during the transfer, but... Damn, I remember the burning and itching all over my body. I thought I was going crazy. Seth. My partner said something was weighing him down. He also knew a guy who felt like he was falling off of a cliff every time he changed bodies. That's probably nothing unusual. Don't worry about that. Attention! Vehicle in a drift cliff. Can see him. Did you get rid of the evidence? 
evidence from Icarus. No. Look, they're gonna take us both in. Okay, okay, uh, I'll, I'll spill. Yes, I was on the Icarus, but they threw me off the case. Chief Steiner himself gave the- James, you stupid cunt! Will you just shut the fuck up? You're making it worse! We're placing you under arrest. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. Attention all nearby units. Burglary in process. That's yours. Quarter of 11 to 58. Or 117. Repeat. All nearby units. Staff. Repeat. Burglary in progress. Quarter of 11 to 58. Or 117. Ah, fuck this guy. Let's go. That's all I could think of. Well, well. I'm impressed. Thanks for saving my ass. <sighs> One thing, though. Cunt? Seriously? <laughs> I panicked. Okay, James. I'm no expert, but the universe seems to be telling you to go home. You believe in science? I believe it's 2 a.m. and I'm getting sick of you. Seriously? Shit. I owe you an apology. Didn't look at my watch. James. I know you have your demons. I've read your file, but you've got to learn to control them. I understand. I know it's got to be difficult for you. But you know the saying? The sleep of reason produces monsters. Put the vodka away and rest. It will help. Yeah, rest doesn't work for me. Besides, it's a title, not a saying. What? The sleep of reason produces monsters. It's the title of an old drawing. I saw the hologram. The guy falls asleep with his head on the desk. There are boogeymen and bats swirling around him, like they're coming for hear the flutter of their wings it was uh, Goya, I think. Oh, suddenly you know art. I'm such a renaissance man. I have many talents. Then haul your talented ass off to bed before you get in trouble. Over and out. Okay, so that whole thing that just went on there was literally about, what was that, 12 or 13 minutes? So, yeah, but anyway, uh, obviously after that, it's another story-related achievement. We're going to get the Altered States achievement right there. Um, and yeah, so here we are on the sunny beach. We're going to try and find Rachel, who is our wife, who's dead. And the more you move forward, the darker it gets, and then the angrier everyone gets, so yeah. It is unfortunate. Rachel! Waking Sarah up for a drunken call was as healthy as my usual cigarette dinner. But I needed this conversation. And something told me she needed it too. 
Anyway, it was a nice contract. Okay, so actually, but before heading home, what you're going to do is wait for one of these flyers to drop in front of your face. We'll have the ability to grab one and read it. There it is. So pick it up, press the A button to read it, and the, you'll get the... You've got mail. They're multiplying. That is called an orgy bro. Uh, but anyway, once you've got that achievement, now we can head back home. And again, it's going to be more dialogue-heavy stuff and another miscellaneous achievement we're going to be grabbing too. Not good. Welcome, Fallen. James, Kara, I recommend immediate decontamination. The level of contamination of the shell is alarmingly above. I know. The synchronization test will... <laughs> Where are the... the fucking... drugs? already know who the murderer is? How did I? Hey, doesn't the hero die at the end? Yes, but he's trying. And when will you cuff me? You want me to cuff you? Don't you want to? Right, so we actually have to find three locations in order to get... Uh, our medicine, our lightning medicine, so we don't evolve into Raichu, apparently. Uh, one's in the living room, one's in the kitchen, one is in the bathroom. Now, it literally doesn't matter which way you do it, um, it will always be in the last place you look, which is, of course, that's common sense for everything, isn't it? Because it's never in the first place you look. So, even if you do it out of order like I do here, and try and find it somewhere else, it, it, it won't be where you think it is, it'll always be in the last place you look. You look terrible lately. Try to smile a little, just a little bit. There's nothing in this one either. I won't get rid of this hologram unless you take me there. Ah, 
And of course, by living room, I meant upstairs bedroom. Uh, right, head into the kitchen. Make sure to put the tree back. That is what will get you the ray of light achievement. So before moving on and sitting down, make sure to go into the kitchen here, as I said. Pick up the tree. Ray of light achievement unlocks. Everybody happy. Fucking slipped. Nobody would believe me, and I'd rather not think about what kind of I'd end up in the bank with a 500. I'm starting to be like those fuck. Maybe it'll always go f I remember this thing. It's driving me crazy that I. Do I need help? This is it. Get a grip. You've got work to do. Yeah, bruh. Always need a little sh 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 cigarette break, don't we? Okay, so once you've done that, um, then we can head back to our apartment. And I believe we're about to do a psych evaluation test, which is always fun for people whose minds are already on the brink of insanity. Logged. James, welcome back. I'm starting the synchro test. Please take a deep breath. Excellent. All right, so it's always, it's normally just a case of we need to just puzzle, put some puzzle pieces together. So we're going to just take a seat. Again, I'm not sure it matters which one, uh, but I just choose the left one anyway. And then what it's going to do then is we basically, like I said, we need to place some puzzle pieces together and the way you do that is you have to stand on a certain part or in a certain part of the area until they all sort of close together as you can see so you go straight in front of us now that's fine that'll open up and obviously the whatever it is so we needed to back away from that one and then back away a little bit again to get the excellent piece of drink going so on to the next stage then, again, it's going to be this way for the next 10 minutes or so again. Um, so you literally just, obviously, you know, whether it's the, the further you move away or the further you close in, you just need to go ahead and make everything looking smashed again. Positive rate threshold is maybe for you. Mm -hmm. 
So you need to back away slightly from the desk. Is that why you're wondering? If, if, if you're wondering why it's not working, you need to back away slightly from the desk. And then go ahead and take a little seat. Yay, new purpose in life. Finding yourself... Turns out I have a knack. Do you miss your job? You don't even realize. Let's move on to the... It seems that the complexity of the trauma will not allow us to continue. I can handle it. Synchronization is a... Try to isolate minor events using all your senses. Or stop and extend the recovery period. No. Some shine. Great. Um. Right then, so we're getting more into James's crappier part of his psyche. So we need to sort of back away slightly, um, but basically still on the ground floor. There it is, that's the first part done. Now with the next parts, uh, you will actually have to climb up onto a ramp, onto the train, and you will be able to complete the next bunch of puzzle pieces as well. Because uh, you can't do it on the ground at all. So if you turn around, right up there, so what you're going to need to do is go on the ramp, go up on the train, go around and start heading towards those pieces there. Derailed the train. I hear. What about? element detected. James, it's dangerous. It could be projection, not recollection. What projections? This is my fucking window. staying home. Your mental state is very st How long until I'm back to work? From nine- Fuck! Sarah, I fucked up. I don't- What? What happened? Is everything alright? I just I can't do anything. I James, 
No. I'm sorry for earlier. I'll cover all... You didn't deserve... Whew. Wow, that's very... Excuse me? You're such a drama queen sometimes. What did you think? I'd leave it? I have a few leads to... Really? You think you're the only person in this town? Let's get busy, then. So, out of work for six to nine months. I mean, if it was fully paid, I'd be well up for that, Zed. Wouldn't we all? Anyway, we are on to board two out of three now. So, where do we start? Though, this time around, I'm not going to be wasting time putting everything, you know, in neat little places and everything. We're just going to go straight for it. Wham, bam, thank you, Nan. Um, or your ma'am, or whichever it is. So, first of all, we are going to go ahead and find the serpent symbol. We're going to drag that up to vanishing points. Again, you need to actually put them on top of each other. So, serpent symbol onto vanishing points. That will get a new one going. The, uh, I thought I said suppery track, but the slippery track. So, next up, the, uh, what we're going to find is... So, to put on slippery track, we need to find... Where are we? Green's last letter. So, Green's last letter, put that onto slippery track. And then that should be... A correct assumption. Next up is at all costs. And so what we're going to find then with at all costs, if we just take a little look, we're going to find... Nope, 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 nope. It's the toxicology. The toxicology of Icarus. That is what we're going to find and put that on at all costs. So at all costs and toxicology of Icarus. And then we've got Romeo and Julius next. Both left this world. Yeah, it does say Julius. Oh my god, my eyes are blind. All we know is they gave the could damned good question. Let's check. So the next step is the next step, and then what we're looking for is the clue Agent Dean. So we're going to put uh, we're gonna grab Agent Dean and then put Agent Dean onto next step. Errand boy. I wonder how big his stable was. As the chief's trusted man, he must have known about Green... Just what was he looking for here? Next up, then, for the golden question mark, the drink motive, we're going to find technical plans. So we're going to go ahead and find technical plans, and then we're going to put that onto the drinks motive. That's there we go. Technical plans. Put it onto the drinks motive. Too many copper phase conductors with Pop that one in. And ta-da! We have the unclear plans this time. So... Sarah. How am I supposed to do uh, once we have stopped talking, there we go. So with the next one then, unclear plans, we're going to go ahead and we're going to find uh, Travis. Travis Collette. Travis Coletti. And put that on the unclear plans. And that is done. Hold the A button, complete it, shaflete it, job done it. And that order not to board Icarus. You think Dean was following the... I bet if he could, Steiner would have handled it differently. But at this level, and in... So the chief was... He doesn't make the rules of the game. He... Investigating? Ugh, but these plans, James. Another damn good... As long as everyone's focused... Great. Diagnostics, repair cost, and fine. 900... Ah, oh, fuck you! And don't wait for me with dinner. After our little nightly talk, I knew I wasn't alone in all this. Sarah may have been only a voice in my earpiece, but it was a voice of integrity and reason, which was what I... James, should I send you a sleeping bag? Get a move on, turn on the camera. Stand back, the Fed secured the entrance. Could you? You get excited when you- I'm in rehab, so don't tempt me. I'd like to see your thought. <laughs> I erased it. Good luck. I have my way. Ready. So, here we are. Back to the scene of the crime. Only this time, it's going to be a lot more weird. There's going to be a lot more things that we missed the first time. Which, of course, we had to, because that was just part of the story. So, um, and yeah, this one is going to take... 
this last reconstruction scene is going to take a while. So head over to the right first of all and interact with the red safe. Uh, the fucking safe? Did they just clean it out? Are you sure it's this safe? See something else? Nothing. Empty. Just like my account. Get out. Can you check what they took? You know, it's not like I didn't break the law this week, so I'll see. Wait. James. It's not about the safe. You just said the complete opposite. I changed my mind. They took everything out. Great idea. <gasps> what? See? Cables lead somewhere. Probably to the washing machine. Over. There's some interference. Can you repeat? Hello? Yes? The storm's coming. The electronics are freaking out. Wh where do they lead? What? What? To the electricity. God, never mind. from the safe. It doesn't make sense. Maybe we're missing something. Safe? I'll lock him up. You're asking my opinion? But what next? We have... Bingo! The first rich dude wall safe of my career. <laughs> you should be a thief. I'm building my resume. <laughs> nice to see you develop. Hey, fuck you. This is my idea. Don't push it. James, what is happening? Sarah? It holds his stamp collection. Another victim. Brian Theodore. C Formal dress. Let's check where you came from, Coven. This looks dodgy now. We got the stranger going, um, and uh, yeah. Right, so um, we obviously just need to get the investigation started.
started, so a couple of pictures we'll need to take before we can do that. So it's obviously the first guy here. There's three bodies which are in quite close proximity here. There's one. The second one is going to be uh, one of the women and just another guy which is on a chair. So take all three pictures of those. Anna Turner. Used to be a sports writer. We had you had your last deadline. Maybe I can lift the chandelier. Stairs must have damaged the wires. Okay. Why did he fall? And where's the killer? Shot. Needs a closer look. The Emperor of Screens. He influences more people. What is this? Everybody lies. They learn to live a lie. Adam Cadis. Okay, what happened here? Where's the damn killer? How did they die? Losing your nerve. Never mind. Who brings a gun to a fancy party? Fucking lack of culture. Eight millimeter. Were you sitting here with a loaded? Think twice before in. The shootout started. You probably didn't consider that. You didn't shoot that fucking thing down on your own head. Are you sure? He shot the killer. Was that better every minute? Aim toward the piano. Weird. The trail ends here. Lots of glass under your feet and nothing around. The killer had plenty of time to cover all traces. by a truck. Lagoyevich. Journalistics. Why is so much glass? Any complaints? Fuck no. Glass? You? I should say, uh, in some of these little scenarios, such as this one, in order to progress the story, you actually have to pick up one of these notes, uh, a couple of these name tags and notes. Um, that will That is what will actually progress the story, in case you are wondering. Still don't know what this asshole was doing. Did you run away? Why in this direction? It doesn't make sense. It's too rich for my blood.
broken bottle? Did you chase? Where were you sitting? Bingo. So you were sitting here. You attacked, even though bullets... That's where you were hiding. Fucking wiring. You've had your chance. No need. Well, better to do something. Although, as you can see... And he was done running. He fell limply. Maybe... Something or someone stopped him. He shot at Blagojevich. Low. Maybe Blagojevich saw Cadis and like both their odds. Did you feel a cold? It would take more than... Right. What Did you do this? Someone's being paranoid here. It's... Which gets in the way of... Need more light. Sarah. What? You mumbled her name when you were lying on the ground. I don't know. I was delirious. Misery loves company. I'm off duty. Right. How to quell they even think well. What happens? Yes. Ah oh, man, now who could have seen this coming? We've got an underground sex weird death party thing going on right here. Now uh, why can't I be invited to any of those? I'm gonna have to make an OnlyFans, aren't I, just to start getting invited to stuff like this. I want to be part of a sex death orgy. Let me in! Let me in, please, by the hairs of my chinny chin chin. Okay, uh, no, nothing can surprise us today apart from all this uh, awesomely weird stuff. Okay, so we're going to need to take another couple of pictures and again do our whole recreationing as we've been doing. And then we get head. And then we also have to take a picture of just above butt. Um, so if you're into animated butts, then, well, there's one for you. Huh. Someone was sh Blood trail. It's time for pictures of your friend. I don't know you. They slaughtered him and bled him for- Is it an Icarite? No. It's impossible. 
Are you sure? How did it all start? Let's start with who the hell that- You know that by solving this case, you're help- Aren't you tired? I want to help you. Sure, because you're such- On Icarus? You- How fucking kind of you. Drake Star. I thought he was using a different body. The actor and the senator's husband. He looks like a victim. There can be ecstasy in... It's, uh... An... Nine millimeter. Same assailant. Looks like the victim bled out before... Maybe the killer lost his shit. He could have left additional bullet marks. That... straight through. Another Imitation made from eek. I admire all forms of art, especially when it helps. Liaison. How am I doing? Am I as good as that Sarah of yours? Suddenly a shooter appears and takes out our... bled out before you shot him. Are you sick? Unlike the rest, this one was murdered volunt- <laughs> Different blood types. Presumably, the Senator had a pleasurable time with Drake. If she was bleeding like hell. Same weapon? millimeter and empty you were shooting blindly at Cadis senator used them as a shield She gets hit and plays dead. Smart move. Was she trying to escape? ready to fight. That's why people believed in her. Was she waiting for her moment? Drake had type O negative blood. This is a different type. She surprised you? A ton of lead. And burned skin. They had to struggle, but he had the upper hand. She all 
almost get you. I guess you're on. I can tell you that if she got you. Broken ribs. You crushed her with. And she still didn't give. You underest. At least I understand the low position you shot Blagojevich from. And remember, Kadish, good to know that not everything goes your. It's going great. So you scurried away like a. Oh, and this little clue had me stumped for a little bit as well. It's basically the uh, bullet markings on the door. Uh, just in case you're wondering where the hell it is, it's the bullet markings on the door right there. Again, that had me stumped for another few minutes too. Kate, they almost got you. You had to find a way. Don't under I wouldn't dare. Hello. Lucky. But respect where it's due. You made it. But I'd like to see your your real face. Couldn't think it was any different than yours. You're always watching me, aren't you? Monitoring? You watch the holograms. Some these holograms must be stored somewhere. Damn, son. Damn. Look at these two. Boop, 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 boop. Yeah, I tell you what, that is, uh, yeah. Oh, jeez, and there was a bit of, um, I don't know if that was uh, face sitting or if that was stabbing in the head. I'm not sure. Anyway, right, so we need to go to that. That's basically a switch, but what we need to find is the yellow wires to uh, interact with two red switches on the wall. There's the first one, and the other one's basically just going to be on the opposite side. So just keep following the yellow wires. Another. This must be a dead end. Olympus comes with a pocket Hades, a frozen hell where people pay the price for the gods' eternal hangover. Fucking Icarus. You want to try it out? Fuck you. I'm not... This body. Take a right in this one. Need the former owner. Of so again, you don't actually have to pick up all the clues um, in order to just carry on. If you go to the uh, back part of this section and then take a right here, so not here, but if you take a right there. Uh, you should be able to see the two sort of um, switches in the background. That is what you need to continue. Um, I don't think you have to pick up the clues anyway. Um, I ended up doing because it wouldn't actually appear. So, yeah, you know what? To hell with it. Pick up all the clues and then the uh, option should appear to carry on. Where are you already? Fuck. Green. 
Crane was probably using the recorder. No matter how much evil was around, Crane would still grab them by the balls. Better focus on you. You have your five fucking minutes of fame. I warn you that I may disappoint you. Wait, what? This is Green. Senator. Attacking his back. He's the one killing them all. It doesn't make sense. It makes perfect. Did you force him to do it? That's your job. I'm not your cheap little slug. What? Did you think? Sarah? Anything to hurt. Don't keep me. I mean, let's be honest. If you are gonna go out in a blaze of glory, you wouldn't mind doing it with uh, when your balls deep, really, do you? Huh? You, you really don't mind. <laughs> That's a pretty decent way to go. Hmm? Anyway, that's it. We're heading back up. Just wondering, since you saw what Green's guests were capable of, will you trap their souls in rotting bodies? Fuck you! Or will you let them return to Olympus like nothing happened? What did you do to her? This much gel could blow up the Senate. You can buy. I will find you. Do you? Yes. So again, I'm not sure if the next part makes too much of a difference, but what we're going to do is choose the option to leave it open. Um, yeah, I don't know if if it'll make a difference, like I said, but we are going to actually leave it open this time. Let everyone have a look at the orgy death murder. in my earpiece was even more overwhelming than my own stupidity. When I was gallivanting in hell, the murderer emerged from there to get Sarah. How could I let myself be tricked like this? she lived, but not how she lived. I would say below poverty line, if not for the fact that I've crossed the poverty line a hundred levels up. Somehow I have to find it. So this next part's easy enough then. What you're going to do is just basically examine, uh, there's just going to be a couple of these options, so these uh, couple of things that we can pick. Uh, so just choose everyone until we can continue moving forward and then eventually we'll be able to get into Sarah's house. Cables for sh These cables come. Uh, Sarah, where are you? It doesn't seem connected. Damn it. Electric current. Sarah needs to communicate somehow. I need to get a closer look. Dirt. 
And then just go ahead then, use the x-ray just next to these uh, switches and buttons, and then we'll be actually able to go in. So, ooh, we are about to meet Sarah face to face, albeit in evidently terrible circumstances. But, well, she sounds pretty over the blower. Let's see what she's going to look like next to your mower. The murderer wanted to pull me into a maze, get me drunk with fear, but I had nothing to lose. So once we've got past the linear section, we're gonna come up to it, Sarah, oh, oh, oh. and is it gonna be a case of, yeah, we fell in love right after it because we beat through so much together. Uh, you know the typical, uh, typical stuff. Anyway, you are gonna have a little conversation with the stranger first of all. Again, dialogue options do not matter though. You're the one bleeding. Fucking chance. One. Great. Just, Just show, show yourself. yourself. You gotta be kidding. Where is she? Talk. Drop, Drop your weapon and get, get out. out. I'm, I'm counting, counting to three. three. One. Who the hell are you? Oh, I'm a department officer. You're gonna end up in the bank, you cunt. And... Ah! I know you're dropping by oh. next time. Sure thing. Hmm. Interesting. Sarah, who is uh, supposedly 29, she went into a body who was. I mean. I mean, the voice is, voice is nice, but does that mean that I'm into grannies or the, the terminally ill? Oh my god, I'm so confused. I'm so horny and confused. I'm, I'm, either way, I'm so sorry. I'm a freak! E. How'd you find me? You know I'm a detective, right? I didn't think anyone would bother trying to find me. Ow, 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 ow. Stay still. Why did you come here? When we lost contact. I thought he got you. So that's why you busted in here like a psycho? On a hunch? A little more than a hunch. Meaning? I have some questions too. One, actually. You should be in your first shell. The comfortable and efficient one. What the hell have you gotten yourself into? Your 
smoky too. Someone's fallen into bad company. His body must have been through half a century of addiction. It'll drop dead before I get used to it. You're in your 30s, right? 29. <sighs> My bad. My family thinks I'm away. I got the best synthesizer, remote work equipment. I didn't have to explain myself to anyone. And then fucking James Kara had to waltz in here and ruin everything. I'm good at that. So what have you gotten yourself into? It's a long story and complicated. Good thing I'm a professional at complicated stories. Talk. I didn't want to, but I had no choice. I... I did something sketchy, but otherwise... It's all right. You can trust me. Okay. I rented my body on the black market. Sarah, what was your motive? Motive? Seriously? I'm not judging. I just... What is this, an interrogation? No, fuck you. Now, as we head towards the sort of final stretch, the last hour or so of the game, it does get even heavier, dialogue -ier, heavier, uh, ones we can't skip. So, we are going to follow the beautifully voiced, um, what looks like sort of terminally ill Sarah. Um, again, don't know if I'm scared, horny or confused about that, but she's going to go ahead and play with these dolls, and then we're going to interact with said dolls, and she's going to tell us a whole story Again, which we can't skip, but that's fine, because it's a bit of interest as to... Uh, we basically get a bit of Sarah's background here as to why she's doing what she's doing. Um, so go ahead, take a look, and again, just enjoy the story for the next few minutos. Fray Bentos Pai. One night, when the acid rain was bad, Taylor and I hit upstairs, where you came in. Back then, it was just a two-by-three-foot hole that ended in a wall of rubble. And instead of sitting in the cold with her teeth chattering like any normal person, Taylor started fiddling with the flashlight. And then something flashed in the pile of rubble, so... We started digging, and we dug until we unearthed this little Statue of Liberty figurine. It was beaten up, but looked valuable. And we fenced it right away. And we came back here hoping to find more. Then what? found out there used to be a museum here, so we dug more, day after day, till our hands were bloody. We kept digging for normal people. It's a portrait of misery, desperation, but for Taylor, we were adventurers on a fucking treasure hunt. We glued, fixed, and sold everything we found. Would you believe we we excavated this whole place like a pair of underage slum archaeologists? The ruins were like a mansion to us. We really had it all. At least until Taylor tricked me. Eight years ago, give or take a few days. subscription and Taylor paid for it for me she did it behind my fucking back
after a month, her subscription expired. And we were broke, and there was no one to help her. She wound up in the bank, and the body went to auction. That's why I have to get her out, no matter what it takes. You're the detective. Now you know my motive. anywhere anything higher octane I'll pour us something or you can also help yourself to ambrosia in the bedroom okay so after that long 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 story we're gonna go ahead now and we're gonna solve a puzzle and get another miscellaneous achievement going here so head into the bedroom first of all the door that just opened in front of us take the medicine pills get us some again we, we ain't turning into Pichu or Raichu. We're staying as good old Detective Pikachu. Head into the room here uh, with, yeah, just this whole bloody room right here. Interact with the Chicken Justice Book, Volume 3. Um, uh, that's what we're going to be doing for the achievement. We can interact here with the uh, desks, the drawers, sorry. Uh, that's just for a bit of conversation with Sarah in just a bit. So we have to basically uh, turn on and turn off specific lights. So the first light here, the lamp, we're going to turn this one off so that everything is glowing booger green. Then we're going to head out of the bedroom. Excuse me. And then when we head out of the bedroom, take a left and there's two lights. This is the only one that we can interact with. We need to make sure that we turn this one on. Head back on yourself. Go between the steps and you can see these big long steps here. Take a left. And this light, we're actually going to keep off. So, I just turned it off, uh, on, but we will turn it off. So, make sure that that light is off. Again, we just have to make sure specific lights are on, specific lights are off. Next up, we are going to go back. We're going to take a left into this main area where, uh, yeah, this main area. Go straight through until you see a hole in the wall right here. Take a left, interact with this light, turn this one on. And then, what should happen then is when we back out of here, these doors that were originally locked are now open. So we can head up the steps. Oh, by the way, just in case you were wondering, you click in the right stick, turn on your flashlight. Probably got that by now since we are two hours and 50 minutes in. Uh, but we'll head to the end of this area, interact with the curtains to move them, interact with the chicken. Ah, you son of a... That's not my KFC. Somebody replaced it. Anyway, interact with that, and that was what will get you the Chicken of Justice achievement. Now, it threw me for the longest time, purely because I kept forgetting to turn the lamp off. The very first lamp in the bedroom off, so that's what mashed me up. Um, but once you have done that, we can ha again, you can now go ahead and have a long conversation with Sarah, Sarah, whatever you want to call her. Um, and you should have the ability to conversate with her with the locked options um, but again dialogue options once again don't matter here so continue to conversational oh, you love him I found a hen of a damned intricate make you solved the puzzle for 10 years of his life Dario only wanted you can keep the chicken of justice if you want seriously awesome <laughs> so how did a slum girl get this job? Maybe you got... Points for determination. Fortunate combo. I had insomnia. I guess that's how I managed to pass on... Did our department come for... Yes. So what? Did I join you? Maybe I wanted to take control? I'm just a liaison, but I already know when... Our job sucks. At least it slightly improves your chance of sur- What are we drinking to? Well, you're the expert. Bottoms up. 
Honesty. I think we're gonna need it. Okay. Great. What's our poison? Slum's chief export, apart from bodies. Moonshine. Nice. The worse the neighborhood, the better the hooch. What are you renting the body for? Surrogate. For some rich broad. A good one, I hope. Sarah. All right. So you rented your body. Where did you get this one? The current model. Um, they said it was recycled. Give one to me. No. A recycled body? After what I've seen, that's hard to swallow. They must have put someone on ice for you to get it. No, no, no. Somebody bought a new body, and no one wanted this one. of what you've gotten yourself into. James, I have nightmares. Every single fucking night. I see her in them. Welcome to the club. Every morning, I wake up from them and Taylor can't. And it haunts me. What if she's trapped there in an endless nightmare? They're your nightmares, not hers. You're projecting your fears where they don't exist, and you have to deal with them. James, I have to save her. Fuck! You understand? I can't tell good from bad, especially in this fucked up world. But if something, someone matters to you, you fight. Screw the cost. Well, thanks, I guess. Do you know what I'd give to see Rachel again? Fucking anything. Thanks for being straight with me. Yo, hey, Sarah, by the way, did I, did I tell you I'm really, really digging those uh, chin ball wrinkle necks you got going on there? That's, uh, looks real cute on you. Keep the wrinkle necks in your neck, buddy. Old chin balls. Anyway, go ahead and follow old chin ball wrinkle neck. And then it's going to be more conversation, and then we are going to be doing our third and final evidence board. I get the feeling you're not telling me something. I suppose it'll come out sooner or later. It's about Jane Salma. What about her? New evidence? You could say that. She has my body. What? Ugh, calm down. I checked her. I got to her. She had a similar case before, and they couldn't prove anything. Even with plenty of evidence. Oh, damn it. The arrangement came from me. She had the dough, I had the body with the right biological conditions, plus I could cover for her. That's why I know she's not a suspect. Okay. I'll trust you. At least I'll try. Much appreciated. Sarah, we need to start invest- Just a minute. One more question. A basic one. Yeah? Why don't you tell me why you storm- I told you. I thought you were in danger. Based on what? Did something happen? Mm-hmm. Can you fire up the board here? No. In the meantime- The Red Room? It's a piece of fucked up history. Okay, so should we go ahead and let's do it? Let's do it indeed. Right, first of all then, we are going to- do the taking over the body question mark and we're going to put that one with uh where is it okay. monitoring something rather really. which one is it it's uh not that one not that one or but yeah monitoring recordings that's one so grab the monitoring recordings clue and put that with taking over the body uh which obviously gave us a new one there so n upload could this be desynchro your mum's desynchro. Uh, anyway, 
go ahead now and grab the, uh, where are we? No, 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 the uh, Greens, no, yeah, Salma's Recorder. That's what we're after. So Salma's Recorder, and we're going to put that one with Fight Theory. So Salma's Recorder with Fight Theory. We get a new question mark available pick it, uh, to be able to pick up. I need something better. Green, you've got all the green in the world, Green. Sounds familiar, don't you think? Uh, so now we're going to pick up Icarus Lounge and put that with the meaning of intrigue. So Icarus Lounge clue and put it with the meaning of intrigue question mark. That gets us a new question mark, of course. More than taxes. So next up then, we're going to now choose Green's plans. We're going to put that one with more than taxes. So Green's plans clue. With more than taxes question mark. That gives us the incomplete intrigue question mark to appear. Apparently every prediction ended in disaster. And then what we're gonna do with this one, we're gonna go ahead and grab uh, what is it? It's down the bottom somewhere. There it is. Be uh, red rooms names of the corpses at our feet. Whatever that is, an incomplete intrigue. Man, my eyes are really bad. But yeah, it was the red room one with incomplete intrigue anyway. My eyes are so bad, I really couldn't read that last bit. Well, that's my eyes going blind. Happy days. Right, so next up then, what we will do is, uh, it's going to be at the top here. Where is it? Transfer machine, and we're going to put that with out of control. So the transfer machine clue with the out of control question mark. And that's a, another one done. And we're going to get a couple more, which we're going to do. It's damn suspicious. Let's just put it together piece by piece. Okay, whether it was Green's... I see it leap. Can you be more specific? I'm throwing them in. So next up, what we're going to do then is grab Green's Shadow. Obviously, you can see there's a lot more clues up there, but we're going to grab Green's Shadow, and then we're going to put that onto Necessary Death. There we go. So once we've done that, we now get the Cut Threads question mark. Uh, so now we're going to go ahead, and we're going to pick up another clue, uh, which one? going to be Green Shadow again. We've already done that one. Sorry, just checking my, just checking my notes. Okay, right, that's what it is. The Ouroboragoragora, to the cut threads one. The Ouroboriboride, the snake thing. Yeah, grab that one, pop that one on, conclude the analysis, and we will get the nothing but the truth achievement as well for completing all of the boards. And you? Why do you be? Oh, is that a thing for crime, Mister? Sure. Who does? It? Well. I believed in justice. Shut up. But you don't any as much as ever. I'm just not copy that. Okay. Let's try to draw some conclusions. It all comes down to could Green really be a puppet? I thought so, but the more I watch the Red Room and Foyer footage, the more I doubt it. Green, the way he gestures and talks to himself, he looks crazy. Talking to yourself doesn't mean you're crazy. You know what I mean, when he's waving his arms and hurting himself. But I have no idea what taking over a body would look like. Fuck, I don't know. Which one of them was behind this? Green or the killer? The more important the dis- <sighs> We're out of- I'll admit our alleged killer knows a lot. But we don't have enough evidence that taking control of bodies is even possible. Green wouldn't be so easy to manipulate. He held this city by the balls for hundreds of years. Seems he decided to go out in a blaze of glory and burn it all down. If Green planned it all, then what role did the killer play in everything? So, what's his next step? The motherfucker leaves no trace. The trail's cold. Why haven't we heard of him before? He's a pro, after all. Hmm. Criminals are still in their learning curve when they do their first crimes. 
they leave more traces behind. I'll check similar poisoning cases in recent years. No. Poison may have been removed from reports. Check the final death. Oh, I think I have something. Two weeks. No. Shit. I was wrong. Forget it. Sarah? Rewind. No, you can't touch your own case, or reconstruct it, or explain it. You can't defend yourself. I'm the only one who can. Oh, the fucking savior of the world. Can't you let go just this once? You know the answer. Damn you. Hang on. I have to... What's this? A new earpiece. This one shouldn't be so easy to spot. Ah, huh. thanks. Looking in the mirror at yourself, sometimes the scariest thing imaginable. But it was time to face myself on my own, without dragging anyone else down. statement is that there are only two kinds of medicine that work, those with an awful taste, and narcotics. James, are you there? Good to hear you. I'll be on the line, but remember, in this place, desynchro can be deadly. Got any symptoms yet? So here we are then at the train crash site. Yeah, we are definitely coming up now to the homey stretch of life. 
the old holy homey stretch. Uh, now, these, it is kind of a reconstruction scene, but these are going to play out a little different. Uh, so we'll go to the back here, take a picture of this guy. Uh, so take, that's the first clue. The second clue is the briefcase on the floor directly in front of us. And then the third one is like a switch or something just on the wall um, above us. So that's where the second clue is, or the bullet hole, sorry. And then the briefcase on the floor. That's the third clue. to look for more evidence. I don't know if reconstructing is a good idea. Most of the blood evaporated. James, think again. The Reconstructor will try to use your memories because you were there. It'll be fine, Sarah. No, you won't. I... Wait. James, wait for me. Um... So this is where it's going to get a bit different now. Basically, the stranger is just toying with us, mashing with our minds. You can see that the whole wrist thing now has gone up onto the top. So uh, you don't actually really need to be looking for clues on this part. It's literally, you're going to go to the normal gold slash yellow marker, whatever it is. And you just basically are going to get your mind messed with. So that's the only difference in this part. Synchro tests and run away from there. Come home and we'll. I'll explain later. Why do people keep leaving you? I need to get to the next car.
Did you know that in the last Nicko test I talked about us? I understood that you would never accept my decisions. Life ends. Even memories fade away. Nothing else will happen. We tried. I know. We were stupid. That would be wrong. We would be bad people. We really are. Because we're still alive. She would never. It's my own fears. Feeding on her death. Reconstructing this is gonna be Sisyphus' work. The difference is Sisyphus tried to cheat death, not to immerse himself in it. Happened here. Didn't even have time to yell. A mortal wound. It's starting to look like a graveyard on wheels. I'm moving to reconstruction. Try to reconstruct. Why did you take her from me? I don't know what's going on. 
That is why it is a train crash site. You basically, in, search of, in pursuit of search of the truth for Rachel, you basically shut up a whole bunch of people uh, in trying to kidnap uh, and kill what looked like Bob Marley's um, son or something. Um, and that's how Seth Green died. So, or Seth Rogen, whichever Seth you prefer, that's how he died. And now it's wearing, bearing heavily on our conscience. Right, so it's basically just a, just a couple of quick time events cutscenes here where you just basically need to spam the A button. This is the first one, so just keep spamming along. Um, no, even if you fail, I don't think it matters too much because the story still progresses. But anyway, spam your life away for the time being, please, sir. And sir S's. I'm tired of you being sorry. The world is tired to see you too. <laughs> So hard to this pathetic life. It makes no sense. Give it up. I want to help you. Stop! Are you fucking crazy? Want to play with a knife? Do you? We are cruel, and you are a sadist when you look at me like I can take away your pain.
James, I need your help. Salma is, uh, my body's in the middle of a riot and, and it's in danger. James, are you okay? Yeah, but I'll regret this in the morning. feeling about all this. A revolution is like an amputation. When it comes too late, it's sure to bring blood and pain, and as likely as not, little else. James, where are you going? Don't worry, I'm just below the park. I'll run into our friends in blue. I'm already flying over. Oh, all this! I repeat, close the airspace over the park. Regroup on 57 and stop them from getting south. I will be there soon. It's not an easy day to be a police chief. It's not easy for anyone. himself if he tried. A forest of fake trees that last forever without actually being alive. What exactly happened? All I know is the mob ripped through the police cordon and attacked the rich folks at Green Celebration. We're so Okay, so it is backup save time. So if you're on PlayStation, I know that you can do this a lot easier or, or whatever. Um, I know you can do it easier on PlayStation than you can on Xbox. So it is advised to make a backup save now because, uh, um, again, this is only probably 10 minutes long. So, you, so if you do the backup save, you can start from here again and then you can just do the two options in order to get the two endings. Or I'm obviously going to be showing you how to do the sort of cloud save manipulation trick where you just you go straight to the dashboard without quitting the game, delete your local save or delete from console. And then what should happen is you should start from here again. Now for me, I don't know if I jumped the gun a little bit too early, but I started from the second cart of the train wreck. So I had to do that bit again. Um, but I, I think I jumped the trigger jumped the gun a little bit because I was a bit nervous that uh, it would actually mess up so uh, but more on that later so again a lot of unskippable dialogue now for the next part and it's basically just one long big linear path with a lot more conversation too APB for a police car was sent out automatically. Great. Road's closed. Gotta go around it. How big? Pretty fucking big. Great. 
Probably the Marai statue from Green's exhibit, where his farewell happened. Head towards it. I'm trying. Something keeps bugging me. Whose idea was it to say goodbye to Green here? I don't know. Probably the city. It was the last exhibition he sponsored. Why does it matter? I'm wondering if this could have been planned. You think everything that's happened here was also part of Kovalev and Green's plan? Look, everything happens on the day of Green's funeral. And it all started with him. Well, as far as paralyzing the city and causing chaos, well, it works. But what was the goal? Or a step toward the goal? I don't know, honestly. I can see the place where the ceremony was. Great. Head over there. What did you say the statue was of? Morai. That explains a lot. Or I were the goddesses of fate. All I know is that they watched over the life thread of mortals and gods. Oh, nice. I have to take a roundabout route to them. How's Salma? Oh, slowing down. She seems to be running out of strength. Bad out your name, and you just happen to be in the middle of this shitstorm. Boss, I covered for you. You burned the papers. You didn't see me, okay? I gotta save someone. You moonlight this private muscle or something? Or something? You really piss me off. Get in the fucking car before it's too late. James, please, Soma. I can't. Your last chance. I'm trying to help you, you idiot. Boss. Damn you, Kara. I'll be back for your Rick right then. Sorry, pal.
see her. She should be out there somewhere. Uh, if they go, uh, please help me. Uh, Find her. She must be somewhere straight ahead. Can you see her? Is she okay? I don't know yet. But I'll find her. There she is. Don't shoot! Right then, so we are going to be coming up very, uh, very shortly in the next few minutes. You're gonna, you can press the left trigger to peek, but I don't think you actually get shot. You can't shoot him anyway, or shoot her, as it were. Um. But every time, you can, again, choose any dialogue option that you want, but every time you get the option to get closer, make sure to get closer. Darkest secrets. And she didn't raise a finger! She did nothing about it! Nothing! You deserve it! You're better, huh? The one righteous citizen in a dirty city! You fucking bet! I just need to dish out justice one more time! I got bad news! Justice is my thing, motherfucker! Well, show me what you're made of, man. Come out! Going on. How the hell should I know? I'm trying to figure this all out. But I need you to help me, okay? You just have to trust me. I'm doing everything to help you. You're not fighting him. Are you... with him? Are you helping him? I... no. What? I'm a psychologist. I'm sure you know that. You can trust me. And desynchro psychotic disorder. Green struggled with it too. Desynchro? What? Probably our Icarite. Our mind has a, a limit. It can only handle a certain number of traumas and reincarnations. Until it gives out. I don't know if I can help you, to be honest, but I'll try. You just have to let me go, okay? Okay, so after this next dialogue option here, uh, again, choose what you want for this one, but after this one, we will now get the ability to either shoot or throw our weapon away. Now, um, again, it doesn't make a difference, because uh, we're going to be doing the whole backup save trick anyway, uh, but I've just gone for the good option first, so when we get the option, make sure to choose throw your weapon away. But also... Honestly, the way posh English people say bastard is, is, it will always be funny to me. It's just like Americans saying twat, even though it's literally got an A in it, so it's T-W-A-T. Anyway, uh, throw away your weapon, and this is what is going to give us the good ending first. Bastard twat. Mm. You all sound posh when you say, if you put an O instead of, instead of, if you say an O instead of where the A is, it just means you're ultimately posh and it's funny to listen to okay anyway uh so once we have thrown our weapon away again it's going to be a whole bunch of conversation and dialogue uh, but we will eventually get the good ending i could feel his breath on my neck i should have felt fear or anger but i just felt serene Maybe because I was so fucking tired.
first life. We really made it. The second was good too. The third never came. Still, we were lucky. Really lucky. I've been living a stolen, anguished life for a long time. And he was born from that pain. Everything's alright. Your time is long. Anyway, I'll drag her into the abyss with you as the tool. Right, okay, so this is where we're going to get uh, two achievements, one for completing the game and one for getting the good ending. Now, again, I didn't test it. Sorry I didn't test it, but I'm not sure if... Uh, so there's another achievement that you can get. It's basically for listening to the audio recording from Sarah, uh, which plays through the credits. Now, I'm not sure if you get that achievement, go to the main menu and then continue, and then I don't know if you'll be able to continue from the bridge part again. Um, or, so I didn't test that out, so again, completely up to you, if you just want to skip to the credits, press continue, and then hopefully it takes you back to the bridge part, hopefully that's the case, or, um, you can do the whole save cloud manipulation trick, uh, again, after the cre again, after the credits roll, and you've got that one last achievement, if you do that cloud save manipulation trick, um, but again, I literally, I think I jumped the gun here. As soon as the two achievements um, came at me, uh, or unlocked came at me, what am I on about? That's when I went into, uh, just went straight, don't close the game. I went straight into the dashboard without completely closing the game. Then on the game, Nobody Wants to Die, I went to Manage Game and Add-ons. Go down to Save Data. Go down to your Gamertag. And then delete from console. 
do not delete from everywhere. Make sure to delete from console. Um, now, again, so I've done that. But again, what, what I said earlier was when we go back into it and continue, it actually put me back to the second train car. So it was a little bit more than a little bit more playtime than I uh, actually had generally genuinely anticipated. But it's better than starting the whole game again. Um, so, yeah, I'm not really sure where the point is. That will put you back on the bridge or put you back at the beginning of the final level right there. Um, so, again, apologies about that one, but I literally didn't want to play through the whole game again. That's why I potentially jumped the gun. But if you want to have a test it out, again, you can either try to continue after the main credits roll, or you can do that whole manage game and add-ons trick after the credits roll, whichever way you do it. Hopefully, you've done a lot better than me right there. Um, yeah, because at this point I'm thinking, hey, right, let's get back on the bridge and we'll uh, we'll get it done quick. And then once I press the A button, here I go, eh, 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 and then the whole disappointment, even my nipples drooped at this part as well. That's how disappointed I was. God damn it, the train again! Eh. I mean, it's not really that much longer, um, but yeah, I'm on the second train cart. Anyway, hopefully, whatever way you've done it, hopefully you've um, you've done it more correctly than I have so you're at a better point um, and you're not so far back but again it does beat playing the whole game through again anyway so again whatever way you are it's easy enough anyway obviously um, to get through it so you'll get through it you'll get you'll do the same exact things again dialogue options and everything do not matter in the slightest the only thing that matters is when we get to the end point with um, Miss Salmonhead, Miss Salma Salmonhead, is that you choose the shoot option, and that is what will get you the anguish achievement. So again, I know there was a couple, of, you know, I've read that a couple of people thought that you had to choose specific options and do specific things through the game in order to get the bad ending, but that's not the case at all for me. I chose what I chose, I did what I did, and the only thing that makes the... Uh, the only thing that makes a difference is that right here, when you start having the conversation, is that you choose to shoot Salmon Head. Put the gun down, please. <clears throat> what is? What the fuck is going on? How the hell should I know? I'm trying to figure this all out. But I need you to help me, okay? You just have to trust me. I'm doing everything to help you. You're not fighting him. Are you... with him? Are you helping him? I... no. What? I'm a psychologist. I'm sure you know that. You can trust me. It's desynchro psychotic disorder. Green struggled with it too. Desynchro. What? Probably our Icarite. Our mind has a, a limit. It can only handle a certain number of traumas and reincarnations until it gives out. I don't know if I can help you, to be honest, but I'll try. You just have to let me go, okay? Killed him, didn't you? Green's dead because of you! What? I tried to help him, but I'm not a miracle worker. If someone's been wearing down his psyche for centuries, how am I supposed to fix that? Fucking how? Please. I'm exhausted. Put the gun down. Come on. You can try. So again, make sure to uh, so make sure that you shoot this time. Or if you chose sh uh, to shoot the first time, make sure to choose throw your weapon. Whichever way you've done it, go the opposite way. So obviously for me this time we choose shoot. And that is what will get you the anguish achievement. Because, you know, you both get shot. You don't die. None of you die because you just get put into new bodies. Hopefully I got my mega Scottish Tom Stortman body. I want that world's strongest man crown. Um, but yeah, so you just go through all of this and until the anguish achievement unlocks. Sarah. 
James? I screwed up. No. Did she? Forgive me. And then, when the credits roll, if you didn't listen to the audio recording from Sarah during the good playthrough, because of course I'm, again, not sure how you've done it if you chose to finish all the credits and then go back into continue or whatever, uh, whichever way you've done it, please, please um, let me know what you did in the comments section below so that other people can... Um, because there's been a lot of times where I thought I've done everything correctly and, you know, bang on the money, and then, uh, yeah, people have figured out even better ways. So, yeah, that's why you guys are goddamn legends. So, don't skip the credits. Go ahead and listen to all of the audio recording. That will get you the one missed call achievement, and that will be all 26 out of 26 achievements done. So, I will just leave it here then, guys and gals. So, thank you so, so much for watching. Uh, I really hope you enjoyed the game as much as I did. I really did enjoy it. Hope you enjoyed the guide and that it helped as well. If it did, of course, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And share with a friend as well. And a big shout out as always to all my Patreon supporters and YouTube members. And I promise the next game will be a Game Pass game, okay? For those that are seeking revenge against me. Also, like I said, make sure to check out my podcast as well. True crime pro podcast called Gaming's Darker Side. That's what it's called, yes. Gaming's Darker Side. So if you're into true crime with gaming into gaming then uh, make sure to check that one out but there we go guys and gals thank you so much again i'll see you in the next one big love he'll help me for you i'll avenge us partner <laughs> <laughs>